old people, Rasa the Dancer is here and we're going to have a serious conversation about snacks. <laughs> now, why am I making this video? Well, I am in lockdown and so many of you. Uh, for those who are not in lockdown, well, good for you. Maybe it'll be helpful anyway. <laughs> but in lockdown, what do we tend to do? We tend to eat more. Now, I made a five snack list for you what I try to snack on if I'm desperate and I need something let me not be rude to put something in my mouth like food oh <laughs> it sounds bad um let me rephrase this it's just snacking is a common thing that we do in isolation and I will give you my list right now but please 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 subscribe to my channel as well because I have many other videos and now we can continue snack number one very cool well I like it anyway carrots so I, I cut them in small pieces and then also I take some hummus but it would be good of course homemade hummus but let's be honest not all of us will be making homemade hummus so then just have a look at all of the ingredients and make sure you don't get the hummus with some sort of added like attributes just take a normal plain hummus and it's not really that damaging and you can you know dip your carrot in the hummus and eat the carrot if you don't like carrots you can replace it to some other vegetable that you like but the idea is that you're still eating the vegetable and the hummus is kind of kills the craving of something unhealthy and hummus is not as i say it's not that damaging as you would have like a some sort of salsa sauce you know what i mean again if it's homemade you're great but if you're not gonna be homemaking <laughs> then get something really really basic like hummus and then get some of your favorite veggie for me carrot and dip along while you're watching a movie and avoid the crisps snack number two it's nuts <laughs> it sounds good right it's nuts and i'm talking about the actual nuts um a lot of people like nuts I find it difficult to eat nuts because the healthy snack option that I'm talking about is of course unsalted and not roasted and not honey roasted all that kind of thing so plain normal nuts I find them difficult to eat so I don't really enjoy it I do it sometimes but the alternative which is maybe not as good of course but peanut butter now peanut butter again there's a lot of now really good peanut butters they might cost a little bit more than one pound maybe they'll be like three pounds but basically it's really good mostly not a lot of additives so it becomes like smashed nuts in general and what I tend to do I actually just take a spoon of peanut butter and I lick it on it and because it's peanut butter it's it's hard to lick it so it lasts longer is that sad i actually find it delicious so give it a go lick on some peanut butter or of course you can get some sort of healthy cracker and put it on a cracker or like take an apple use an apple with a peanut butter that's nice as well or if you are not person just munch on some nuts just be careful with the nuts sometimes when you eat more than a handful of nuts um, it's a little bit too much because it's healthy fats but the fats too many of healthy fats as well could make you go with pimples and stuff so don't overdose on nuts depending which country you're from is what you're gonna have available but definitely some of the fruits that are a little bit more water based and less glucose based uh, is definitely good for you uh, to snack on so for example watermelon or apples apples some um, you know they might give you a little bit bloatiness so it's not like you're gonna consume a lot of them a few definitely they're more water-based um the other thing is for me for example i need more fruit and i need glucose because i don't have enough uh some people take a lot of sugar in so they already struggle with sugar so you have to look for more water-based fruit but one thing i'm gonna give you as an advice if you're gonna eat fruit it's advisable to eat them actually um, during the day 
than in the evening more so because during the day all of that glucose that you might not necessarily want it actually just goes naturally into waste through all of your movement and day chores but if you're eating them in the evening that's when the glucose gets a little bit more settled in your body so just have a think about that but as i say if you can have like watermelon or apples and you enjoy that kind of thing then definitely a good snack okay so snack number four we have olives now the reason i say olives is because i don't know that many people who would overdose on olives you know it's a very specific taste um it has a little bit of acidity um it definitely has flavor because usually olives are whether in a little can or they in olive oil or something so there is some things with it but they're delicious and i can't see anybody overdosing on well I shouldn't say that don't overdose on olives but usually because olives has a very specific taste um, you would eat just few of them but because of that specific taste and a very vibrant taste you would probably actually feel very satisfied even eating few of them now a lot of people don't like olives and I say you just need to discover the right olive for you there's so many different types. I don't like all of them, but I discovered few that I absolutely love. And sometimes in a moment of weakness, when I really want to munch on something and I really shouldn't, I take a little small bowl, I put those olives there, I eat them and that's my snack and I'm happy. I feel like I, I killed my craving and I feel a sense of satisfaction. Final snack. Guys, this is a serious one. I try to live a healthy lifestyle but i am not stupid i've been i'm a human being and i've been through it all i know it is impossible for a normal human being to just stay healthy all the time to an extent of like you know crazy right so there will be moments when the olive and the apple will just not do okay especially if you're a woman and you're going through a specific period in your month and you need something it's whether you eat something or somebody dies you know you know what i mean right so we're gonna have our final snack that is not necessarily the best snack ever in terms of healthy healthy but it is not that bad if you do it properly and it's very satisfying and that is sweet potato fries now how do i make sweet potato fries i don't deep fry them hence why it is better i oven base them and i actually don't put any olive oil i just cut them in small like fries um, shape pieces I put them in the oven on the foil or just on the oven bag and actually I just sprinkle some salt and the sweet potato is just such an amazing vegetable it just tastes amazing even without the olive oil but even if you put just a little bit of olive oil just to make sure it has a little bit of a base before you sprinkle some salt that's fine as well in those moments that nothing else will do better have the sweet potato made in the oven yourself than go out and get a burger right so there you go this is my snack number five guys we are all humans and we're gonna have uh, all kinds of uh, situations where we want to eat a little bit unhealthy but we just already going through so much with the corona and lockdown so i'm just thinking of inspiring you to try and not to do even more damage yourself to yourself so that's why I made this video for you. And guys, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're going to give it a go with my little snack situation. And also leave a comment of your favorite snacks. Because I definitely need some variety and I would love to hear some variety from you. So leave a comment for me, please. And also subscribe to the channel. Guys, there's going to be more videos here for you to choose from on healthy eating and also maybe unhealthy eating. Go discover and I'll see you very soon.